Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, I saw online that Colombia's main export is about to become cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't it illegal in like every country ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they still they said it's about to overtake oil. As production of the yes. narcotic continues to expand as the government makes more lenient policy regarding drugs. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So it's a legal export? No, no, no. It's illegal. No. No, man. they're just being more lenient about What caring. does that mean that, about like, the, more the, the lenient? The cartels run the country and they're just like, whatever, do it. See, here's my thing. When you say lenient, it makes me think accepting, which essentially that is. Like, I mean... Yes. Okay, so we're going to take a more lenient approach to uh, street fights. What does that? What does that? What does that tell you? That people are going to be the purge in the street. That people are going to start street fighting. So when you say you're taking a lenient approach to drugs and cocaine is your new uh, the highest tier export, that means that you allow people to do that. Colombia is a hell of a country, Bruh. But who can, who can take it? You ever been there? Where does it go? Who could take what? The cocaine? Everyone. They fly no, it everywhere. No, you can't just... <laughs> but it's illegal! Yeah. So who's taking it? I mean, so is so is jaywalking. Who's arresting you for doing that? No, that's, a, that's a difference. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I think there's a difference Aren't between laws, laws, team cocaine team? and jaywalking. I mean, cocaine projection and distribution and jaywalking. I mean, laws are laws. I mean, yes, they are, but this is not Catholicism. This is real life where if I jaywalk, I'll get a ticket. If I import a pound of cocaine from Colombia, I'll probably go to federal prison for the rest of my life. That's a lot. So who's taking it? Where's the who's who's taking it? The money or the drugs? Who's, I don't understand who's taking what? Who's taking it? Who's taking what? Okay, Jonas. The cocaine. You, you're in the book selling business, and I'm like, wow, your your highest imports is book. Your highest exports is books. Who's taking your books? You'll be like, oh, I distribute them to Barnes and Nobles, and oh, some of well, them I sell I on the Amazon that like 10 store. Times and you act like it was a dumb question. I mean, who's taking it? Who's taking the coke? Who's taking it? I'm trying not to a say a bunch co- of people, man, bad guys. <laughs> but who? How? How are you getting it, it in? It's a. As soon as you boats see a, and planes, as soon as you see a Colombian boat show up, I'd be like, "Oh, we probably should check that for cocaine." Yeah, that's why you get you see stories about coke just floating up on island shores. Like, Man, that itch don't be happening anymore. It does too. It happened like like years ago. I'm gonna look up cocaine washing on the shore right you, now. You look it up, man. You have a good time. We're doing live. It. We're doing live reads. All I know is that I don't know who's taking it. All right, I don't know. Other like we, drug dealers, we know bro. who got it. I don't know who's taking it. It seems to me is that any drug dealer that would get, like obviously cocaine is in the streets. It's it's out here. You can get it. You can. It's it's on your local. It's like McDonald's. Your way, right away. That's the Burger King slogan. Yeah. Look. Okay. Here we go. June second, cocaine washes ashore on Ormond Beach, Florida. June seventh, bags of cocaine wash up Volusia County three times a week. A hundred thousand in cocaine washes up on Florida Beach. April fifth, beachgoer finds twenty bricks of cocaine washed up on popular Florida Beach. April twenty fourth, cocaine found washed up on the shore. Or oh, that's a different one. Same one. Was well, sitting here on the shore. Package of cocaine wash wash up. June sixth. I mean, Good Samaritan finds seven hundred k worth of cocaine on Florida Beach. April. Like, I mean, that's just Florida. That's just the Florida beach. Why Why did you move away from Florida? You could have just walked the beach and became a drug dealer. Um, you're not wrong. And those are all fake stories. They're um, all fake. Like All of them. Every single one of them. Debunked. How, were they? How? Live here on the podcast. Live. <laughs> Facts, not them. truth. I debunked, debunked them. How do you debunk them? The guy had the coke and told the cops he found it on the beach so he didn't get in trouble? Okay, so I don't even remember what the point about Coke f- f- flying up on the shore was about. <laughs> like, I get that that happens. Okay, that's the thing. But who's taking it? I don't understand. Other drug dealers. How, cartels. Are there that many dealers out there with the Absolutely. funds? Absolutely. With the, with, the, with the liquid currency to actually get That's coke. like saying, who's buying all these cars? 
Like, you're literally asking who's buying all the cars. Who's buying all these cars? Same thing. There wouldn't be a market if people weren't buying it. It just ain't the GM dealership. It's Jorge Posadas. But the thing is, is that, like, okay, look. Oh, so, so the cars are obviously sold at a markup. Is that where the markup for the Yeah, it's there these the are handling like fee? the cocaine dude Columbia is the plant. It's the Ford plant. The, the first, Ford plant. Yeah, the first the first person that gets it, he, he's buying he's buying a ship full of cocaine. A, a ship, ship. A ship. A whole full. ship. He bought a ship full. <laughs> <laughs> a whole shipload, a, ship a, a shipload of cocaine. Okay. He takes his shipload ship, of cocaine. Whole ship he of, breaks it into smaller, a ship smaller, made of cocaine. Yeah, a whole ship mm. made of cocaine. Right. He breaks it into smaller chunks of ship, and then it costs a little more. Little he makes boats. his cut. Everyone makes a little bit. You know that that shipload of cocaine is worth twenty five million dollars. That's probably way more than that. Street value, he sells it for like twelve because he got it for like four, and then like he's making eight mil, and then he marks it up, and then the other dude get everybody's getting a cut, man. It's I like guess, I guess my my issue is that it just seems like very problematic when I see a headline like the yes. top export for a country is now. A narcotic. A narcotic that is illegal in every other country in Am on, on America, how much on, money, on the planet. How much money street value were people making off Vicodins and uh, uh, what's that other one that everybody gets addicted to? Can't think of it right now. Of course, not court. Uh, oxycodone. Oxycodone. How, but when, when that company put that shit out and they weren't regulating it. If there was not insurance involved, how much money would have people been making off that? They would have been, it would have been more than cocaine, probably. Yeah, I mean, but here's the thing: it's like the federal government put a stop to that. You know, they're they're trying at least they're trying. Well, yeah, to, it's a regulated to, market. Yeah, cocaine, so drugs are not regulated. That's the thing: is that the world is a regulated market. We yeah, have, but we there's have, I mean, we, there's people that are hired hitmen too. They don't allow murder. I feel that, but the world is a regulated market. So, in the same case of the regulated market taking ownership of the fact that the the uh, the what do you call that the pan epidemic with the the epidemic the COVID no the the narcotic epidemic that was taking place with the with the oh uh, fentanyl fentanyl epidemic with the with the prescription drugs the same way that america handled that because it's a regulated market the world being a regulated market when you see a bad not actor, the drug market when you see a bad actor that is putting poison into all of your community because everybody's making money you would it, think man. that they would as a regulated market be like that is unacceptable you trying to tell me that columbia ain't making money off that i'm saying like you got to put tariffs on them man you got to put tariffs, tariffs on, on who Columbia? Duh, yeah. Uh, the, no, man, the Ford plant, yes. Dude. You put tariffs on the Ford plant. I mean, you're putting cocaine. That's cocaine like is your to highest. Say that there isn't corruption in the banking industry. I mean, yeah, there's corruption, but of course there's corruption. There's gonna be my, there's gonna be Scarellis out there. There's gonna be people who are gonna try to drive the prices up on insulin, and that's one thing. But when you're trying to poison communities, which is what I feel like Colombia is doing, when you're made, when your highest grossing export is a narcotic, then yeah, something needs to be done, and the world market needs to say, you know. NATO, whatever the hell it is, whatever China and Russia episode. got going on. You think China and Russia want cocaine in their streets? No. Yeah, absolutely. No, Keeping people poor, bro. <laughs> well, you call, who are you calling about this How afterwards? can you afford cocaine if you're poor? Sell, it's literally the rich man's drug. Selling your body. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Who are you calling to fix this then? I thought we were having a real conversation. Are you, are you calling? You, you want to just talk about prostitutes and laugh? Yeah. All right, we can do that. <laughs> You Next call, episodes, we're just going to talk prostitutes. You calling up Biden after this? Tell him what the problem is. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you got I don't. Wow. I don't. I don't. Now I, just you think, don't I just think it's bullshit. It's I just think it's bullshit. I don't like my. Pe I don't like people being poisoned by drugs. I, I'm I sorry agree. if I take a stance on that. That's. I agree. Weird. Don't poison people with drugs. So. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right. That's all. Time for this episode. Columbia. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazynown.com. Tell us what you think about cocaine. For Jonas. TNT. We out.